The fuzzy bunker has been in the family for generations. It has, I tell you. I got it from my father. I believe my father got it from his father. And his father got it from his sister. Or something like that. Now, the murderer was definitely seen leaving the scene at this time. Yeah, Veronica. Yeah, very tasty. Would I? Yeah, probably. But you know, she knows she's uh, attractive and plays on it. I think that's what attracted Reggie to her, to be fair. You know, you could see in Reggie's eyes that he liked it. But you know, there was definitely a thing going on between those two. Yeah. All I can say on that one is, maybe Veronica tried to break it off. Maybe her hubby gave her an ultimatum. You know, we don't know what goes on behind closed doors. You know, I'm going to be honest about Reggie. He did, you know, he did have a bit of a temper. There was times when he was touchy. Maybe, you know, maybe a simple breakup broke out to become a bit of a, you know, argument. Maybe she didn't do it purposely. But, you know, that's another option for her. She could be someone that could have bashed his head in. What do we know? But, you know, I wouldn't put Veronica too far out of our minds. She could be, you know, a little devil in disguise. I reckon Arthur was the killer, club captain, always walking around the place like he's the boss, like he can do whatever he wants, no wrong. I was walking around the other day and this bird buzzed me off that he was the head share owner at Fuzzy Bunkers. Guess who's the owner now? When the word scum comes to mind, I think of one name, Joe Shanks. That man is disgusting and is a terrible, terrible golf player. Really, why Reggie allowed him a membership here in the first place is beyond me. I kept saying to him, get rid of him, something bad's gonna happen. And lo and behold, Reggie, you're dead. I'm sorry, you're dead. And who's here still? That guy, Joe Shanks. Worst of the dust. Travis T, the greenkeeper. What can I say about him, Travis? He's an American, a Yankee. Lots of issues. I mean, being a greenkeeper doesn't earn him a lot of money. I warned Reggie right from the beginning he would mean trouble. Reggie wasn't listening. I mean, he did have a very good heart, my loving, lovable Reggie. And then what happened? He found him stealing money. Money of my Reggie? Of course, Reggie did threaten him with deportation. And there you go, you've got a motive. Obviously, he killed Reggie. <laughs> 